Hey guys I am Nikaisha from Canadian Immigration TV. In this video I'm going to look. Last month's provincial nominee program across Canada. If you're interested in learning more about this topic. Please watch this video all the way to the end. For the most recent immigration news and updates. Please like and share to this video don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button icon of the notification bell. Let's get started with the video. With more than 4,500 invitations to submit for provincial nomination issued this month, Canada's provincial nominee programs, PNP, are off to a good start in 2022. The PNP is a federal provincial. It allows provinces and territories in Canada to establish their own immigration streams in order to better fulfill their labor market demands and economic development goals. The PNP was established in 1998 to more equitably distribute the benefits of immigration among provinces and to encourage immigration to smaller provinces and less densely inhabited areas of the country. The PNP now accounts for a significant portion of economic immigration to most Canadian provinces and territories. In reality, many smaller Canadian provinces rely on this program to meet their demographic and labour force demands, including Newfoundland and Labrador. Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. Between now and 2023, PNPs are likely to result in the admission of more than 80,000 immigrants as permanent residents. The Federal Express Entry System is Canada's management system for three immigration programs, the Canadian Experience Class, CEC, the Federal Skilled Worker Program, FSWP, and the Federal Skilled Trades Program. FSTP. Most participating provinces and territories have at least one PNP stream that is aligned with the Federal Express Entry System. PNP streams linked to Express Entry, often known as enhanced PNPs, allow provinces to choose applicants from the Express Entry pool and ask them to seek for a provincial nomination. Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, has temporarily paused issuing express entry invitations to FSWP, CEC, and FSTP candidates in order to reduce the backlog and processing delays currently affecting permanent resident applicants. Given the importance of the PNP to provinces and territories, the IRCC has ensured that express entry invitations for PNP candidates are still issued every two weeks, as is customary. Sean Fraser, Canada's Immigration Minister, reaffirmed the government's intention to continuing to invite PNP candidates last week. IRCC held two drawings in January, inviting a total of 1,428 PNP candidates through express entry. The most recent draw, which took place on January 19, resulted in a total of 1,032 invitations to apply being sent out to provincial nominee candidates. In January, Alberta released the results of two draws held through the Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program. The province invited 150 candidates to apply for a provincial nomination on December 14, and another 250 candidates on January 5 under the Alberta Express Entry Stream. On January 13, the Government of Alberta also introduced a new accelerated tech pathway for tech professionals from Canada and overseas. Candidates need to have a job offer or be currently working for an Alberta-based company in an eligible tech occupation, and they have to meet the criteria for the Alberta Express Entry Stream. The province of British Columbia invites the top-scoring provincial candidates on a weekly basis through the Provincial Nominee Program. Candidates who have been invited to apply may do so through Express Entry British Columbia, Skills Immigration, or the Tech Stream. These are some of the most active programs in the country. The province invited 714 people to apply for a provincial nomination in January. Skilled workers in Manitoba, skilled workers overseas, and international education stream are the three streams via which Manitoba sends out invites on a regular basis. On January 14 and 27, the province performed drawings, issuing a total of 758 letters of advice to apply, 
166 of which were sent to candidates who possessed a valid express entry profile. Last month, the Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program OINP, held three large draws. On January 11, the province sent 1,084 invitations to apply under the Employer Job Offer category to candidates from the foreign worker, international student and in-demand skills streams. The province held another draw the next day, on January 12, seeking 502 individuals with work experience in 18 prioritized occupations who would be eligible for Ontario's Express Entry Human Capital Priorities Stream. Finally, through the Ontario Express Entry Skilled Trades Stream, Ontario invited 1,032 individuals on January 27. Ontario, more than any other province, invited 2,618 candidates to file for a provincial nomination. The Prince Edward Island Provincial Nominee Program pay PNP, draws are done once a month and are pre-scheduled. The province issued the timetable for this year on January 1. On January 20, the inaugural pay PNP draw was placed, with 121 individuals selected from the Labour Impact and Express Entry Streams as well as 11 from the Business Impact Stream. Saskatchewan held a draw in the Entrepreneur category on January 6, inviting 51 candidates. The following week, on January 13, the province held a draw for 104 invitations to apply for a provincial nomination through two subcategories of the Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program, SINP Express Entry and Occupations in Demand. If you have not subscribed please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon. See you soon in next new immigration update.